inundated beak rush, Rhynchospora inundata. The inundated beak rush grows in colonies in swamps, ponds, depressions, ditches, and flatwoods all over Florida. In spite of its name, inundated beak rush is no more inundated than other beak rushes. It grows to three or four feet tall. Its stems are triangular. Inundated beak rush leaves arise from the base part of the stem. They are narrow, only about three-eighths of an inch wide. The leaves are angled and have somewhat pointed tips. The relatively large inflorescence of inundated beak rush is at the top of the stem. The inflorescence has several branches that are widely opened. At the base of the inflorescence are several leaf-like bracts. The bracts may be longer than the inflorescence itself. At the tips of the inflorescence branches are loose clusters of spikelets. The spikelets are narrow and pointed. The brown spikelets can be an inch long. They have spiral overlapping scales. Each spikelet contains one very tiny flower. One of the best identifying characteristics of inundated beak rush is its fruit. Each fruit has a long beak at the tip and several long hairy bristles arising from its base which are longer than the fruit. Inundated beak rush has narrow leaves that arise from the base of the plant. Its inflorescence is relatively large and very open. The narrow pointed spikelets are about an inch long. The fruit has a long pointed beak and long bristles. 